Yeah, I don't know. Here's space, and here's some gas. Whoa! It's a stellar nebula! This is the womb of the solar system. The stellar nebula is full of gas and debris that will be the foundation of our solar system. There's this force called gravity, which is forcing the nebula to collapse on in itself. As it shrinks, it goes faster because of the principle of conservation of angular momentum. Here's an example. Deja vu. The gravity was so strong at the center that a small core called a protosun formed. Hey, I'm a protosun, and I'm literally too weak to do anything. I'm made up of mostly hydrogen and helium gas. I'll just stay here until I can do something. Ugh, okay, okay, enough of him. The stellar nebula collapsed under its own gravity to form a rapid, rotating disk. The collision of dust and gas compressed the materials into a thin plane. Here's where planets are formed. The leftover debris start to clump together to form what are called planetismals. These were very small planet-like objects. Yo, I'm a planetismal and I'm cool. Yo, I'm not a cool planetismal. I'm gonna beat you up, other planetismal. Yo, I'm a cool protoplanet. Still smaller than a regular planet, but I'm getting there. Yo, I'm not a cool protoplanet. I'm gonna beat you up, not cool protoplanet. This is how the inner planets, called terrestrial planets, were formed. The inner region of the solar nebula was hot due to it being so close to the sun, allowing only rock material to condense into the terrestrial planets. The gas in this area would burn up, allowing these rocky planets to form. In the outer regions of the solar system, the Jovian planets, the gas planets, would form as the gas would not evaporate. This is Jupiter. Well, not yet. The ice and gas formed around cores of rock that would eventually become the gas giants. Hey yo boys, let's have a party. Hey yo Bush, we're Jupiter now. As the sun started to get denser and denser, nuclear fission started to happen, which is what produces the heat and light from the sun. Nice. The thin layer on the surface of the sun exploded into the universe with a poof, called a T Tauri wind. This wind caused the rest of the light debris, like gas and rock, to clear out of the solar system, creating what we know and love today. But wait, there's more. Here's Earth. Well, not really. It's Proto-Earth and Thea, two protoplanets. Thea is about the size of Mars. The two protoplanets collided in an epic fight to the death, causing them to form one planet called Earth. The debris from this battle created what we know as the Moon. The moon formed in a similar way to the protoplanets, with pieces of debris colliding together. Bro, this ain't Earth. The atmosphere is made of hydrogen sulfide, methane, and 200 times as much carbon dioxide as today's. What are you talking about, Jack? Just wait. Bro, nothing happened. Yo, the Earth cooled down enough where it's raining. Yeah, hey, what time is it? Oh, it's about 2.7 billion years from where we were born. These little guys called cyanobacteria, and these little guys called cyanobacteria are filling the Earth's oceans. They make oxygen from carbon dioxide in a process called photosynthesis. Bro, this stuff's so good. Um, 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 uh. After millions of years, animals were born, and the Earth was now our habitat. So that's the history of the entire solar system, I guess.